Hi, welcome to my study and to all those that are interested in this sort of thing. This sort of thing today is um, the arrival of um, a Chris Reeve Knives Sebenza 21 of the first type of this kind that I've had, which is a computer-aided design custom. Um, and... Um, I just got uh, this knife back and just filmed the video of the unboxing uh, of my uh, large Sebenza 21 with my black micarta inlays and blue hardware with a drop point blade, uh, which had gone back to the Chris Reeve factory uh, workshop um, for an error. They initially put... Um, silver hardware on it and I wanted blue and I explain in the video why I'm a fan of the blue uh have it on both big bro and little bro and little bro is starting to wear which I don't mind at all um but uh while the um large Sebenza 21 was in for the correction um, which I had ordered through Thunderbird Gear in Canada. And I've gotten to know Steve, who's the owner of the company, a little bit uh, online. And we've messaged back and forth about a few things. And I got um, the opportunity to be an owner of this knife, which I will now open up um, to have a look at. Um, this is uh, something special, and uh, I'd rather unbox it and then talk about it because I get nasty notes from from people uh, online about how I tend to talk a lot before I open my knives. Um, so I'll try and please the audience. Um, uh, but uh, let me let me say that this is um, not. I'm not a knife reviewer. I uh, like to share my collection and tell the stories behind uh, what I get. So for people that do appreciate looking at collections and hearing the details and the stories, this is a channel more for you. So if, if you're looking for quick unboxing and lots of statistics and facts, um, there are plenty of other places to go. So, you know, you know, don't have to send me nasty messages and give me uh, dislikes. You can just um, go find that. And for those that enjoy looking at the collection, um, welcome and, and, you know, enjoy this video. Uh, and I think what you see here, uh, this one's special. So you're going to want to stick around and see it. Um, a little surprise. There's no sticker. Uh, <laughs> um, but I'm going to Chris Reeve uh, in a couple of months to visit, so I'll pick up an, I'll pick up a sticker then. Um, so here is uh, what we have is the birth card, born February 27th. Um, so um, we know that the Sabenza 21 production is done or nearly done at the end of February. It's now March 9th, 2020. Um, so this is probably one of the last uh, Sabenzas uh, produced, uh, Sabenza 21s out the door. Um, I don't know if we'll ever know what was the final day of production. Uh, and it has the Sabenza 21, the standard um, uh, information card, um, as opposed to... Uh, the new cards, which um, are coming with the Sabenza 31, uh, there's the Canada 131, um, that has an exploded isometric view uh, similar to what's on the takedown mat. Um, but this is a special um, custom design that is going to be available from Thunderbird Gear as a Sabenza 31. Um, but there are a, a few Sabenza 21 versions or 21s that are made. And uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. So comes with the uh, leather slip case, always nice. Um, and I will, I will see uh, if I'm going to use that when I carry it. Um, because I, I don't know if I'm going to want to make this a hard user or if I'm going to protect it. Um, but let's pull out the Chris Reeve burrito, which is, and you all know, uh, grease and, um, Allen key, uh, comes with every Sabenza. So uh, I don't need to cover it, but I just did. Um, so let's, uh, clear some space and open up the Chris Reeve burrito, which is one of my favorite things to do. There's nothing like opening up a brand new Chris Reeve and seeing, 
um, what shape it's in, that beautiful uh, sandblasted handle and stonewash blade, um, which, you know, as you use them, they, they wear. So there's nothing like a fresh one. And that's why I like doing these videos for myself and now sharing them online. Uh, so they're, you know, nice lanyard. This is the dot bead. Um, which uh, I always like. I haven't actually ordered uh, a knife with the dot bead uh, myself yet, um, but uh, I think they threw some in with my my large uh, Sabenza 21 with black micarta, um, which I'd asked for because uh, when it went back for for correction, um, because I wanted to make try making my own lanyard with one, but this this. Um, was not chosen by me it's part of the livery that comes with this knife so now let's let's flip it oh look at that isn't that gorgeous so here you go this is the thunderbird gear sabenza 21 uh large sabenza 21 so um let's open it up so we can see exactly what we're dealing with here uh so it's a drop point um comes with blue hardware non-inlaid but with this uh wow isn't that stunning um that is the logo of thunderbird gear um and this is going to be an item available from thunderbird in sabenza 31 uh once they start getting custom graphic uh 31s available um from what I understand, talking to Steve, who owns Thunderbird, um, is that these will probably not be available until 2021. It's going to be late 2020 when they start getting around to doing custom graphics. And so the orders will be fulfilled in 2021. But they will be available on the Thunderbird Gear website. But as by means of introduction, there are now six Thunderbird Gear uh, Sabenza 21s in the world that I'm aware of. Um, this being one of them. So for customers, um, they produced four, two large and two small. So there's three other people out there uh, probably today or tomorrow uh, unboxing um, the same uh, knife with the same uh, logo on it. Uh, as well, um, Steve had two made for one for himself and one for his daughter. His daughter, who helps him with the business, got a Tanto blade and he got an in-single blade. Both of theirs are large. And the difference though with theirs is that on the lock side, they have the Thunderbird gear uh, word mark or logo uh, on that side for them. Um, so there's one Tanto uh, large uh, Thunderbird gear, Sabenza 21 with the Thunderbird gear written on this side and there's one in Singo large again with Thunderbird gear written on the side but for customers he didn't want us to be walking billboards uh, and I understand that and I think it's actually kind of classy just to have the Thunderbird on there and I I suspect that this is going to become one of those knives that people like and uh, want to have along with some of the others that have, um, you know, the, the dealer exclusives. This um, is going to be one of them. And the, the lanyard, which uh, reflects the color scheme of the Thunderbird Gear website and their branding, um, I believe that this paracord is called Bucky Blue, um, but I would have to go look it up on the Chris Reeve website to double check. And obviously the dot bead, and I know that's the Chris Reeve dot bead. Um, so absolutely stunning. I, um, I like the fact that this logo, and I'm trying to hold it in the light, so um, please forgive me if you're not getting the best view. I'm trying to hold it to, so the light reflects off of it and also hold it upright so you can have a straight on look at it. Um, but uh, it is actually recessed into the handle and I don't know if they've anodized it or what, but it's black. I was actually kind of expecting it to be more blue um but actually it looks pretty bad when with the i mean bad in the good sense not bad as in oh horrible i mean bad ass <laughs> uh with the black uh or very dark gray and it's a smooth uh feeling it's just stunning i'm steve 
good job, man. <laughs> and Chris Reeve knives. Excellent. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of people when they start coming out on the 31, they're going to want one. Um, <laughs> including maybe me. I might need a small to go with my large. Um, but there you go. There's the, uh, the probably the last Sabenza 21 that I will get uh, new uh, or maybe of all, uh, I have plenty now, <laughs> uh, more than I need, but, uh, uh, you never know, never say never. Cause every time I say never, then I see something online and off I go again. But the Thunderbird gear, Sabenza 21. And for those of you that uh, are interested, check out the Thunderbird gear website. And, um, I imagine that this, the Thunderbird gear, uh, 31s will be available sometime near the end of this year for ordering. Um, and I'm not doing this as a commercial. I'm a customer. Um, Steve has taken care of me for several uh, Chris Reeve orders, and I will be using him again in the future. Um, and uh, I just happened to be in the right place at the right time when he announced that there were going to be four of these available as Sabenza 21s, and I jumped on the chance. Um, uh, you can tell I'm excited. Oh, and guess what? For once, before I forget, I'm actually going to remember to do a slice test with it. Um, usually I forget and then I stop the camera and then I'm just about to pack everything up and I realize, oh, damn it, I didn't check the blade. So let's just see what the sharpness is like out of the box. Um, pretty good. Ooh, a little bit of tear there. Let's see. All right, let me get rid of that. Let me try again. My hands are shaking. I'm so excited. I want to. I want to look under. I want to look at that Thunderbird with a with a magnifying glass. Okay, it's tearing a little bit. Oh, there we go. There's a smooth slice. I just had to get to where the paper was steady. Yeah. Okay, it's about uh, the same sharpness as my um, large Sabenza 21 Micarta, which I just unboxed. Uh, came, it arrived in the mail uh, from being uh, corrected at Chris Reeve Knives. It arrived from Thunderbird Gear along with the Thunderbird. Um, but I think this one is actually, uh, they're both factory edge, um, right, both right out of the box. And I would have to say, uh, let me grab another fresh piece of receipt. I would have to say, as far as sharpness goes, the black micarta, uh, I think, beats Thunderbird. But, oh, it's tough to say. It's tough to say, because that's slicing pretty smooth. Yeah, let's call it a tie. Let's call it a tie. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is fun. I could do this for part of the afternoon. And I probably will after I stop the camera. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Um, I said, uh, boy, I'm, I'm so glad I got one. Uh, that is just cool. Uh, yeah, Thunderbirds are go. How about that? Have a great afternoon out there. So long for now.